execution on the donkey of the day is something to behold. Is it a read? He gave me donkey of the day and I deserve it. People need to know. Well, need... you need to tell them. Charlie, I am. you have the voice. Tell them. Tell them. Tell them. Tell them. Tell them. It's time for donkey of the day. It's a read, <laughs> but you're so good at it. You're trying to be a fake-ass Charlemagne. There's only one Charlemagne in the world. Damn, Charlemagne, who you giving donkey of the day to now? Well, donkey of the day for Friday, March 1st, goes to Gary Pilnick, okay? Gary is the CEO of Kellogg's. Yes, Kellogg's, the home of your favorite cereals, okay? Everything from Fruit Loops to Frosted Flakes, Corn Pops to Apple Jacks. Gary is the man with the plan behind all of that, okay? Some of y'all listening to me right now, and you just poured some 2% over a bowl of Rice Krispies for the kids. Okay, they should be drinking almond milk, but I digress. Now, I've told y'all a million times that America does not know how to solve problems. And one of the biggest problems, if you ask me, the biggest problem they don't know how to solve is poverty. Okay, people with money, I don't care if you're a billionaire, millionaire, even a thousandaire, folks do not understand what is happening with the poor in this country, especially if you've never been poor. Okay, the wealthy, the rich, the middle class, they have no idea what is happening with the poor in this country. And this latest statement from Gary Pilnick, the CEO of Kellogg's, proves it. He appeared on CNBC's Squawk on the Street, and he said that poor families should eat cereal for dinner. Listen. The cereal category has always been quite affordable and it tends to be a great destination when consumers are under pressure. So some of the things that we're doing is first messaging. We got to reach the consumer where they are. So we're advertising about cereal for dinner. If you think about the cost of cereal for a family versus what they might otherwise do, that's going to be much more affordable. The other places that we like to go is we talk about making sure we have the right pack at the right price in the right place. So having a different size pack that'll have a different price point, that'll take some pressure off the consumer while they're shopping. So those are some of the things that we're doing. But in in general, the cereal category is a place that a lot of folks might come to because the price of a bowl of cereal with with milk and with fruit is less than a dollar. So you can imagine why a consumer under pressure might find that to be a good place to go. Right. I'm all for innovation and marketing, but the idea of having cereal for dinner, um, is there the potential for that to land the wrong way? Uh, We don't think so. In fact, it's landing really well right now, Carl. When we look at all of our data, of course, we would know that breakfast cereal is the number one choice for in-home consumption. We understand that for breakfast. It turns out that over 25% of our consumption is outside the breakfast occasion. A lot of it's at dinner, and that that occasion continues to grow, as well as the snacking occasion. But um, cereal for dinner is something that is, is probably more on trend now, and we would expect to continue as that consumer is under pressure. Hey, yo, Gary Pilnick, I need you to shut the F up forever. Okay, shut your rich, privileged, disconnected ass up forever. First of all, two things are wrong with this statement. And Gary, you would notice if you decided to actually have conversations with the people you're talking about. Poor people been eating cereal for dinner, okay? We have been eating breakfast for dinner and not because we wanted to, all right? And how about this? The cereal some of us had to eat for dinner wasn't even Kellogg's. You know why? Because we couldn't afford it. Great value everything, all right? Store brand everything. We couldn't afford Rice Krispies, so we had the toasted rice, all right? We didn't have Kellogg's Frosted Flakes. We had great value Frosted Flakes. This is the difference between Kellogg's Frosted Flakes, okay? Because they had Tony the Tiger. Great value Frosted Flakes had a polar bear who didn't even have a name, as far as, as I knew, okay? And he might not have even been a real polar bear because he had ski goggles on, gloves, and a scarf. Having to wear that defeats the whole purpose of being a polar bear, so he might not have even really been one. Kellogg's Raisin Brand, they had the sun on the box. Great value raisin brand does not. You know why? Because the sun don't shine on the poor in this country. The nerve of Gary Pilnick to tell poor people to eat cereal for dinner. This is why I say America doesn't know how to solve problems. This is the CEO of a Fortune 500 company. And the only thing he can come up with in regard to the people being hungry in this country is they should consider eating cereal for dinner. And guess what, Gary? Sadly, you know, we're already doing that. Okay, if folks have to eat cereal for dinner, they probably going to still be eating great value, not Kellogg's because Kellogg's is still too expensive. I grew up in 1978, single wide trailer, dirt road, Moss Corner, South Carolina, and Kellogg's anything was a luxury. Okay, it was a luxury then. And guess what? Prices have risen to 28% over the last four years. People can't even afford to eat what you suggested to eat, at least not your brand. Okay, listen to me, Greg. 
Kellogg's latest financial reports, and you know this because you're the CEO of the company. Uh, the company's current revenue is over $15 billion. Okay. Mm. They made that in 2022, and that was an increase over 2021 when they made over $14 billion. Moral of the story is they made crazy paper. How about take some of that money and use it to help the poverty problem in this country? Y'all make more than enough money to be a part of some type of real solution, and you should because overcoming poverty is not a gesture of charity. It is an act of justice it is the protection of a fundamental human right the right to dignity and a decent life you know who said that nelson mother freaking mandela y'all got all the money all the resources and you telling me the best idea you got is for folks to eat cereal for dinner i got a question for gary and other rich people in positions of power who have the ability to at least attempt to solve some of america's problems how long y'all gonna keep playing in poor people's faces how long before poor people get fed up and come to snatch your plate? You making millions, you run a company making billions, and you tell poor people they need to eat cereal for dinner, even though poor people are way ahead of you and been doing that? How long are you gonna play with people's problems and not come up with solutions? Because I'm telling you, America, we are right where a great black philosopher by the name of Tupac Amaru Shakur told us we would be in this greedy ass capitalist society. Let's listen. If I know that in this hotel room, they have food every day, and I'm knocked on the door every day to eat. And they tell, and they open the door, let me see the, the party, let me see like them throwing salami all over the, I mean, just like throwing food around, where they're telling me there's no food in there. You know what I'm saying? Every day, I'm standing outside trying to sing my way in. You know what I'm saying? We are hungry, please let us in. We are hungry, please let us in. After about a week, that song is going to change the, we hungry, we need some food. After two, three weeks, it's like, you know, give me all the food, we're breaking out the door. And after a year, you just like, you know what I'm saying? I'm picking the lock, coming through the door, blasting, you know what I'm saying? It's like you hungry, you reached your level, you don't want any more. We asked 10 years ago. We was asking with the Panthers. We was asking with them, you know, the civil rights movement. We was asking, you know, now, now those people that were asking, they're all dead and in jail. So now what do you think we're going to do? Mm. Ask? Mm, 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 mm. Please give Gary Pelnick, the CEO of Kellogg's, the biggest hee-haw. Mm -mm. Don't tell me you can't do nothing, okay? I got a partnership with the Food Bank in Harlem. You can go to foodbanknyc.org right now to make a donation. They give away 100,000 meals a month right there in Harlem, okay? And, and, and groceries to people. One dollar provides 10 meals, okay? So if I'm in partnership with them, imagine what Kellogg's could do. Mm -hmm. That's all I'm saying. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. You hungry? Absolutely. Okay. I'm not going to eat no damn cereal. Okay. Okay. Mm -mm. That's because we got food out there. Mm -hmm. right. Salute to uh, Will and Daughters Catering, you know, for, for, for providing food. You know, got everybody in here getting their back big. Yes, the, we got, speaking of weekend. back big or back small, whatever, mm -hmm. I'm going to eat. And we got jerk wings. It's jerk, what is it? Uh, jerk chicken wings, macaroni and cheese. They got two kinds of macaroni and cheese. They who got, are you they talking to? Oh, I don't know who she's talking to right now. <laughs> I don't well, care. Well, let's, let's go, go through the airways, make everybody hungry. They got <laughs> shrimp, <laughs> well, salmon. All right, all right, all right. We just talked about people not having, being able to afford food. Could you stop? Why would you do that? Most people not listening to the radio. They trying to oh get their next meal. What are you but talking Jesus, about? Right. But let me ask you a question, right? He was talking about uh, mm. broke meals, right? When people can't afford it. What meals do people use? And he was saying that cereal should be. Why did Lord why, have why, why he's talking about food? You see what I'm why saying? Why fat Big Mac coming in? Why? 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 God damn, that chair became a low rider. Listen, mm. what was the reason? Hey, just to let y'all know, they got um, tater tots too, and then they got Who two got different types of mac and cheese. What are you talking about? I heard Jess talking about it, so. As the Damn, president of the Fat need, Lives Matter. We don't need the rest of the menu. I had to come in here and just come oh up. We don't need the rest of the menu. We're opening up the phone lines. 800 585 1051. We're asking, uh -huh. we're talking about meals that people can use. It's inflation. We're, we're calling it the broke meals. The broke meals that people no, eating while usually broke. use. Salute to, eating uh, while broke. Salute to Colleen Witt. She has a great podcast called Eating While Broke. It's I was going to say, isn't that a podcast? Yes, it's, yeah. on, it's on the Black Effect iHeart Radio podcast network. It's so let's open up the phone line. Yes. I don't discuss. like broke meals. I don't like the way that sounds. Y'all got to stop. Affordable it. meals. Affordable yeah, thank meals. Thank you. Because broke meals, meals is crazy. Don't keep doing that. 800 585 1051. I know as a kid, my cousin, uh, when we used to go to Grandma's house in Star City in Brooklyn, he used to eat ketchup sandwiches. That was his thing. He liked ketchup sandwich. Mm -hmm. It wasn't expensive. You could just pff, a little ketchup, bread, cook, go. Uh, peanut butter and jelly. Oodles yes. and noodles. 
Yeah, right? those are great meals. <laughs> to I, this we doing, day, we doing that to now. This day. There's, right. there's a woman in this room right now who came over to my house and there was amazing food on the table, mm -hmm. and she was like, "No, I want oodles and noodles. Yeah. This is nasty." <laughs> I'm not, I'm not <laughs> to gonna say her day. name. I'm just gonna say she's from Baltimore. You know what I'm saying? You know, oodles and noodles. That's what I wanted. If you spread out the uh, the peanut butter and jelly, just do jelly sandwiches. Then you can save the peanut butter for the next week. So now that's two weeks. Man, go run around the station or something. Go run around the station. Go go. You get a peanut butter sandwich, and then the next week. You got a jelly sandwich. All right. 800 585 1051. Let's talk about uh, affordable meals. Sometimes you got to put things together. Ain't much That's in your right. cabinet, and you put things That's together right. to make sure you satisfy your stomach. Now, Big That's Mac, right. you got to do a lot to satisfy your stomach, but that's what we're talking about. 800 585 1051. What are those meals? Let's discuss. It's the Breakfast Club. Good morning. Donkey today is sponsored by renowned personal injury attorney Michael the Bull Lamisoff. Don't be a donkey when you need a fighter on your side. If you're ever injured, go to michaelthebull.com. That's michaelthebull.com. And when you mess with the bull, you get the horns. Wake that ass up. Early in the morning. The Breakfast Club.